more powerful. I just go and build in your love and your power and your I couldn't believe I 
was just a few hundred yards away from it. It was a beautiful day, and I was sitting on my front porch, and that's when I saw him. He stood up out of his chair, he looked at my direction, he squinted his eyes to get a better look at me. And then I began to wonder, well, what if he doesn't take me back? What if, what if I get to him, and he just looks at me and he says, I told you so, I told you so. Some of you would just roll your eyes every time I mentioned my son. But I knew he would come back. I just knew. I just knew this was a bad idea. I knew I shouldn't have done this, and so I just stopped. He just stood there. I couldn't move. I couldn't just stand there, so he jumped. My dad literally jumped off the porch. I'd never seen him do anything like that before. It was like he was this little kid who was excited about something. And then it hit me. He was excited about me. So you know what I did next? I ran. My heart was pounding so fast, I just had to get to him. I'd never seen him run so fast. He was running at me with his arms stretched out wide as if to say, Welcome home! Welcome home! That's what I kept shouting to him. But I don't know if he could hear me, so I just kept shouting it over and over. All I wanted to do was just scoop him up in my arms like he was when he was like a little child. I just let him know that everything was going to be okay. And as I got closer to him, I could see tears running down his face. He was crying. Tears of joy. And you know what my son did next? I jumped. I was nervous. I was excited. And so I literally jumped. And you know what my father did? Oh, I felt backwards. He's a big boy. <laughs> For my son will no longer live as an orphan. 